Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. About a month ago, I produced my first litter of Cocker K Boas. Today, I'm going to give you guys an update on the babies, take out my close up lens, and show you some of these beautiful babies up close. I'm also going to say a little bit about when they're going to be available and how you can acquire one if you're looking possibly to add one of these to your collection. So be sure to stay tuned for that. So this is my Cocker K female who had her first litter for me just a couple about a month and a half ago and these animals are a dwarf form of boa from a small island off the coast of Belize. She's actually full size and she's only about four feet long so real nice dwarf boa. I originally wasn't even planning on getting these. I already had the crawl key boa and I thought the crawl key and cogger key were pretty similar. Uh, at least superficially but I ended up getting a pair of them and I'm really glad that I did because they definitely are distinctive from the crawl key so the cocker key is darker overall compared to the crawl key the crawl key are kind of more of an ashy light gray where these are kind of more of a dark steel gray the uh, cocker key also have more blocky or more blocky dark regular looking saddles whereas the cocker key will often have aberrant saddles or striping and the cocker key in general are a little bit more thick and robust than the crawl key who tend to be a little more elongated. So these animals are great for someone that's looking for a boa constrictor that doesn't get that big. You can see she's no bigger than a ball python or a corn snake. And I just really love handling these guys. They have a really nice hand feel. They're uh, pretty mellow when you take them out, although definitely very strong. You can feel their muscles. You know, inch for inch, she's every bit as strong as oh, my true red tail. So you can see she's squeezing these three fingers pretty hard. But just a really cool boa to work with and really happy that I ended up breeding them this year. So the babies are doing real well. They've all fed. They all ate the first time on a live fuzzy mouse. So no difficulty at all feeding them. They've eaten a second meal. I just have to feed them a couple more times and they'll be ready to go to their new homes. So with that in mind, let's take a quick look close up at some of the babies. Here's a baby Cocker Key Boa. And as you can see, they look pretty similar to the adults. Maybe just a little bit lighter in color overall, but they have these really well-defined saddles that are kind of blocky, pretty dark overall. And they have this beautiful kind of dark silvery gray color. They're really small boas, one of the Ba smallest babies which isn't surprising since they're one of the smallest adults Let's see if they'll move if this one will move around a little bit and these babies have these really consistent markings you can see how regular the saddles are and they have these ovals in between the saddles pretty high saddle count and then you can see the tail has a little bit of reddish color in it, so they're not really a true anorthristic, but they are mostly blacks, white, and gray in color. Here's another baby, Cocker Key Boa. And this one has kind of a darker appearance overall. Got uh, more black in his saddles. This guy's also got more markings in between his saddles, more background markings. Overall, I would say he's kind of got more of the dirty look, which I kind of like in boas. It makes them look more wild when they have all these markings. And so I think I'm probably going to hold this guy back, being that this is my first litter of Cocker Keys. Definitely going to keep a pair, and uh, I think this one is going to be one of the pairs. I just really like his looks. And he's not really sitting still today, but I just don't want to forget to mention these guys are pretty calm. They don't really strike or hiss or anything like that that I've seen in some of the other baby Central American boas. Here's another baby Cocker Key boa. And as you can see, this one has kind of a lighter, cleaner appearance compared to the male or the animal I just showed you. I'm not sure if he's a male. I haven't sexed them yet. But this one is pretty similar to most of the rest of the litter. There's really not a lot of variability in these animals or really in Cocker K in general. They have kind of a very consistent look to them, which of course differentiates them from the closely related claw key that have uh, much more variability and overall lighter colors. 
but just really nice looking animals really like these cockerkey boas and they're really a great species of dwarf boa to work with I'll show you one more baby cockerkey but as you can see this one is pretty similar to the others and you know most of them look pretty similar you can see uh, many Central American boas have this kind of cross between the eyes as you can see in this one they don't all have it but sometimes they do have it although so many boas that aren't Central American can have that as well so it's not really diagnostic but as you can see very regular um, saddles you know evenly spaced with this oval between them and a very consistent look between all the different babies here's the father of the litter so this animal is a 2016 male produced by Chris Wolf and overall you can see he's very similar looking to the female I would say that maybe he's a little bit more silvery gray color where the female is maybe a little bit more brownish but it's a really subtle distinction and overall they're very similar both in terms of the color and the pattern the cocker key tend to be a lot less variable than the qual key and as we just saw with the babies most of them look pretty much the same with you know the exception that some of them are a little bit darker or a little bit lighter but the pattern overall is pretty consistent between all the babies and this is probably due to the fact that they're coming from a very small population on this isolated island so they're probably highly inbred in the wild and they look very similar which you would expect from a highly inbred population so some of these babies will be available shortly and the best place to stay tuned for more information on when they're going to be ready is to watch future videos i always announce here when my animals are going to be up for sale and I tell you where to go and what I'm doing is I'm posting pictures on my Flickr site you can see the link below the description to the video that's where I have the latest information and pictures and prices of available animals so you can check that site often if you're interested in seeing what's new that's coming up for sale but again I always also announce it on these videos and I anticipate it'll probably be about three to four weeks or so before the cocker keys are ready to go. But these are great animals to work with. So if you've been looking to get a small dwarf island boa, I can't recommend the cocker key too much. Just great animal to work with and I've really enjoyed having these animals over the last few years. So I hope you liked the video and it was helpful. As always, shoot me any questions or comments you may have. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.